word, the word is destroy. I'm There's a new ballpark going up just outside the left field gates, but for now, sit back and enjoy baseball at this Yankee Stadium here in the Bronx as MLB The Show gets set to bring you another edition of Major League Baseball. Leading things off is the lightning quick Rafael Fercal. He's at shortstop. Juan Pierre bats second in left field. Andrew Jones will bat third and play center. Jeff Kent is the cleanup hitter. He'll play second. James Loney is the number five hitter. He's at first base. Russell Martin will do the catching. He bats sixth. Nomar Garcia Para, the third baseman in the number seven hole. Andre Ethier will bat eighth and be the DH this afternoon. Matt Kemp will round things out. He is the right fielder. And they will face the Taiwanese-born right-hander Chen Ming Wong. Wong comes off a second straight brilliant campaign in the Bronx as his 19 victories were the second highest total in all the baseball. When he gets the heavy sinker working, he can be awfully difficult to solve. A look there at the Yankees defensively, anchored by three-time Gold Glove winner Derek Jeter at shortstop. So now Rafael Furcal gets ready to stand in as we're just about ready for baseball. Underway in this one now, and the first pitch to Fercal is taken for ball one. And I think he just got a gift call right there to begin the at-bat. That should have been a strike. And this one will be out of play off to the left. Fercal awaits the 1-1. One -one. And the catcher will just let that one go by. That's through to the backstop for ball two. At the knees for a called strike, and it's back to even at two and two. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. And it's obvious they want to make him good. And ball four now to for call. So a dangerous stolen base threat is aboard to lead off the ball game. That's a bad omen right there. You hate to walk the first guy you face, and that puts you at a disadvantage from the word go. Juan Pierre will get his first cuts here. Swing and a ball pulled into right. And no chance for Abreu. That's a base hit. One nice thing about being a number two hitter is when you got a base dealer that gets on in front of you, you know you're going to get a steady dose of fastballs. And he just sat on one there. Andrew Jones steps in now. And that's in there for strike one. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. No, foul ball. None out, runners at first and second. He's ready, now the pitch. Now a swing as he hits this one into the air. But this will be foul off to the right out of play. Now a ball hit hard towards the hole. And that's through into right field for a base hit. The throw home. And safe at the plate as he just gets in ahead of the tag. So they'll draw first blood in this one. That was a good swing. And just like that, they get off to a 1-0 lead here in the first. Jeff Kent will take his cuts now. First pitch coming. 
And he swings right over the top of this one, nothing and one. And that's the first time where it looked like he really cut it loose. Pitch outside, the throw. And Pierre is called out at third. Caught stealing two to five. Boy, talk about running yourself out of an inning. That guy's in scoring position with nobody out, but he foolishly tried to take third. And he's able to track this one down on the run for route number two. So a runner at first with two away. And striding in is the first baseman, James Loney. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Now a swing and a fly ball hit fairly well out to deep center field. And this is tracked down on the run, and with that, the side is retired. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Starting lineup for the Yankees looks like this. Johnny Damon leads things off in left field. In the two-hole, the captain, Derek Jeter, he'll, of course, play short. Then comes Bobby Abreu. He'll be out in right field. Then the always dangerous Alex Rodriguez. He's over at third base. Hideki Matsui is in the fifth spot at DH today. Behind him is Jason Giambi at first. Jorge Posada will do the catching and bat seventh. Robinson Cano bats eighth at second base. And Melky Cabrera rounds out the lineup. He's in center field. They'll go to work against the big fellow, right-hander Brad Penny. Penny comes off nothing less than a spectacular 2007 as he finished third in the National League Cy Young balloting with a 16-4 record and a 3.03 ERA. In many other years, those are numbers that might have been good enough to take home the hardware, but he'll look to improve upon them if it's at all possible here in 2008. Johnny Damon is at the plate now, and he's quickly behind 0-1. Spotting that thing on the outer half. Just threw that one right by. Uh, this will be a foul ball as he's behind... Now a swing and a miss by Damon as he set down on strikes and there's one away. I still think that first pitch strike is the most important pitch in baseball. Once you get a guy in a hole, you're really able to dictate the rest of the at-bat. He puts him away with a fastball there. Derek Jeter stands in as he can't connect here 0-1. Pretty tough duty trying to get around on that pitch. Swing and a miss as he pulls the top hand over. It's 0-2. Just does stay alive as this is foul back. And yet another foul ball here as this finds the seats and the count will remain at 0-2. A swing and a miss on a pitch well out of the strike zone as he becomes the second out. Well, two batters and two strikeouts here this afternoon as you check that last pitch on pitch track. Nothing too tricky, just a good fastball. He's off to a nice start. So the first two men set down here, and that'll bring in Bobby Abreu. And this will be fouled away. The pitch. Now a swing and a miss as they get in front of Abreu. No balls and two strikes. And they'd love to get through this first inning. One, two, three. There's no doubt about that. Now a fastball driven the other way out to deep left field. Pierre will get under it, though, and he puts it away to retire the side. So they go quietly here in this half inning. Second inning upcoming here in the Bronx. L.A.'s on top, one to nothing. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Hard down the line, but just foul. And he just missed extra bases by a matter of feet that time. And a tough pitch on two strikes as he's able to foul it off. Yeah. 
Grounded foul. Lays off that time, and it's one and two. Sometimes when you foul a few two-strike pitches off, you have a tendency to start swinging at anything. That's a good eye. Now a ball lined to the right side. And a base hit here to open up the second. No more Garcia Parra will stand in. Swing and a line drive to left. And he makes the catch on the move as he's able to hang with this one for the first down. Andre Ethier will take his first cuts of the ball game here. Down on the shins and missed with it. Ball one. Now the 1-0 pitch. Fouled toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. 1-1 pitch and a nice call for the change. It's 1-2. and two. Not often you're late on the changeup. He's got to make up his mind quicker. And a foul ball straight back. Try again, one, two. A ground ball to third, and they could get two. Cano for one to Giambi, but it's too late. Good hustle to beat that one out. Not exactly a tailor-made double play. Thought they might have a shot, but the return throw is too late. Matt Kemp will get his first shot at it here. And the slider from Wong gets him ahead, nothing in one. Yeah, let that thing go. Still got a couple more strikes to play with. And here's a fastball called for strike two. Toughest location for a hitter right there. I'd take that too. And a swing and a bouncing ball back up the middle. And a close play at first, but he's called out and the side is retired. A-Rod will lead it off when we get back. They're down one nothing. Alex Rodriguez. We'll start things off in the bottom of the second. And a way off balance hack that time. Good for the first strike. Boy, when that thing starts on the outer half, you've got to know not even to bother. Donnie looked like a caveman swinging a club on that one. It's 0-2 now. And early on, you can see him trying to jam guys with that pitch, not let them get extended. And this is swung on and sent on the ground to first. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Yeah, this is tougher than it looks for a pitcher covering first, but he handled that pretty darn well right there. So the leadoff man's gone, and here's Hideki Matsui. throws the fastball by him here 0 and 1 and he is just firing bullets here in the early going and he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play now here's the pitch and Matsui can't come up with that one as he swings and misses there are two gone and this guy on the hill, of course, coming off a terrific season a year ago. Here you see his name right up there among the top winners in the National League. Some pretty elite names on that list, no doubt about it. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. Now a swing and a ball hit foul to first as the first base coach had to do a little skip to my Lou there. Now a ball hit high down the left field line, but back in amongst the spectators, foul. Swing and a ground ball to first. 
On the first with it is Loney, and the inning is over. Nothing doing here this half. We play two full. Dodgers out in front, one to nothing. Back to the top of the order now, and here's the table setter, Rafael Fercal. And here's a fastball from Wong. It's 0-1-1. Matt trying to work the fastball in on the label. That was a good pitch. Slider, and that's in there for strike two. Man, I've seen guys be more aggressive clipping their hedges. Swing the bat. Fouled back. Nope, that's foul. Another 0-2 coming. And he missed with it. It's one and two. And a good two-strike pitch. Make him go up and get it. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that is past a diving Jeter for a base hit. Another look here in super slow-mo. Ball headed back up the middle, so he gives it the old college try with the arm swing, but it's by him into center field. Juan Pierre will stand in. A base hit his first time around. Now the fastball here is swung on and grounded foul. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. And that thing's a blur coming in. Good work there to hold back on the swing. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. And remember, at this stage of his career, Posada throws out fewer than one in four base runners trying to steal. And that'll get down for a base hit. The throw to third. They put the tag on, and he is out at third. Probably would have been best advised to stay at second, but he has designs on third here, and they're quickly snuffed out. Andrew Jones will stand in. An RBI single in his first appearance. He's in time, and Pierre's gunned down trying to swipe second. Posada's a lot better known for his offense and his catching skills, but a good throw there guns his man down. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. And he'll sling that thing across the strike zone, but he can't nip the corner. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. Now the pitch. Now a fastball from Wong is on the ground for Aaron at third. Throw gets him at first, and even the East German judge gives that one a score of 10 as the side is retired. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here, but they're up one to nothing. Jorge Posada makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. Swing and a grounder fouled, and that almost took the first base coach along with it. And this is fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. And now a pitch on the way. Swung on and missed by Posada, who's down on strike. And partner, you need a trampoline to get up and hit that thing. What are you doing? Leadoff man gone now for Robinson Cano. Swing and a line drive to center field. And Andrew will just get in front of this one, a base hit. And there's the first hit of the ball game for him. Let's see if they can get something going here. So a runner on first with one out now, and that'll bring forth Melky Cabrera, the center fielder. On a swing, and he popped him up. Off to the left in foul territory. Martin has a bead on it, and he's got it two down. Wow, nice start popping the ball up. It's easy to get discouraged up there. So that's a good job by the hitting coach coming over and showing him just what he did wrong there. 
slowly down the line to third. Could be a tough play, but this lands foul for the first strike. Here's a swing, and he saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. Nomar will put this one away, and the side is retired. We'll see Jeff Kent lead it off when we return. They lead it one to nothing. Jeff Kent will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Now the ball hits sharply on the ground to third. A dive, but it's by him for a base hit. James Loney will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Swing and a shot out to deep right field. Not much Abreu can do with this one. He'll watch it sail out of here. It's a two-run shot for James Loney. And the Dodgers have now taken a 3-0 lead. Well, the key here is that he waited, 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 and bang. Sometimes guys fall all over themselves trying to hit that changeup, but he was extra patient that time and it paid off. Russell Martin will dig in. He singled his first time around. First offering on the way. In there for strike one. Yeah, and when you get strike one on the corner, you can expand that strike zone right away. Outside for a ball, one and one. And this is taken for a ball. Looked pretty good, but it's two and one now. Boy, pretty close right there. That's a strike in my book. Swing and a ball hit hard to third. Well on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. One gone now in the Dodger fourth, and in steps Nomar. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Elbow. Sliced hard, but foul. Look out over there. And the pitch. And a swing, and the ball hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd. Foul. Now a swing and a hard hit ball back through the box. And that will get through into center field for a base hit. Man, his pitches just haven't been sharp so far at all. Already eight hits a lot of just three and a third. He might be looking at a very early shower here. He better shape it up. That ball's foul. Check on Nomar. Now the pitch. Now a ball hit fouled off to the right side, and that just about got the first base coach. And he just does manage to fight this one off as it's fouled away. That ball's fouled. Runner at first here, one man out. Now a double play ball here as this is on the ground to third. Throw gets him at first base as he took away a sure base hit that time. Well, a lot of people forget that A-Rod was a gold glover at short, but it did take him a while to adjust at third, but he looked like he'd been playing there his entire career with that great play. Matt Kemp is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. Just a perfect spot for that fastball. Now a ground ball towards the hole. Go on to first, and they're able to escape the monster inning as the side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Derek Jeter will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. First pitch coming. Now here's the curveball by Penny. Good for strike one. And he's got that thing moving pretty good here in the first few innings. Grounded foul. Fouled back. Yeah. 
swing and a miss on the fastball and that's the first out. And with how he's pitched in this one so far, it's certainly no surprise to see where he ranked amongst the National League's best in terms of ERA last year. And apparently he's carried that over to this year. And this ball is going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. Fast. Now here it comes. On the ground for Kent at second base. So gets him two down. Alex Rodriguez will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Swing hard liner to left center. And A-Rod has a base hit. Well, there's something to be said for being a good bad ball hitter. That one was out of the zone, but he got a base hit anyway. A check on A-Rod, now the pitch. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. Throw on to the first baseman, Loney, and the side is retired. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. So it's back to the top of the order now. And stepping in now, the shortstop, Raphael, for call. And now a ball hit slowly down the line to third. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. This is what sinker ballers will do to you. He just swings right over the top of this thing. So one away now in the inning for Juan Pierre. And he takes ball one. Now a swing and an easy ground ball to first. And they'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Good job of getting off the mound in a hurry and shuffling over to first to take the feed from the first baseman. So quickly two away now for Andrew Jones. And he gets a piece of it here but it's chopped foul. Bases are empty here with two men out. Here's the pitch. In on the hands that time one and one. No contact there, and it's one and two. That right there is why he's given up so many hits. He's got to keep that out of the middle. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. So nothing happening against Chen Ming Wong. Now let's see if the bats can come to life. They're down 3 nothing. Jason Giambi will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. On a ball hit hard down the line toward the coaching box, it's a foul ball. Now here's the pitch. Big swing by Giambi, but he didn't get it, and it's 0-2. Boy, this is getting to be a team-wide epidemic now. They're just swinging at everything. And this is lying hard to deep left. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. Around first, heading for second now. The relay, but it won't be in time, and it's a leadoff double. Second time through the lineup, and you can tell that these guys are starting to get some better swings now. Sometimes it takes an at-bat or two before you can really settle in. Jorge Posada will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. Now a ball hit back up the middle, and that's past the diving infielder for a base hit. He'll come home with it. Oh, and Andrew's about as good as they come as he nails him at the plate. Well, let's have a look. This throws a little up the line, but he's able to pull it in and get back in time to make the tag at the plate. That's a run saver right there. Robinson Cano will stand in. The base hit his first time around. Here's a ball swung on and hit high and deep down the left field line. And this will stay fair. Home run. A two-run shot here for Robinson Cano as it's now a 3-2 ball game. Well, by all rights, this is not a bad pitch. 
He's able to spot the fastball on the outside part of the plate, but just a great job of getting those arms extended and driving it the other way. You just got to tip your cap and move on. Melky Cabrera will be the batter. This is hit on the first pitch to for call it short. On the first, and Cabrera's a ground out victim. Two away. Working the inside part of the plate that time. Pitchers love it when you go after those. Back to the top of the order now. And in steps the left-handed hitting Johnny Damon. First pitch on the way. And that's by him. It's 0-1. And, and with all this first pitch swinging, he's hardly broken a sweat out there. Oh, got him a swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. ball and the count holds it 0 2. Now a swing and another ball that I believe will find its way into the seats. Still 0 2. Swing and a bullet to the right side. And a little self-preservation down at first as he pulls that one in to end the inning. So two runs on three hits, including the home run. No errors and no one left. Jeff Kent will get things started here in the top of inning number six. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. That is such a valuable weapon when you can spot the fastball down there. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. If you can keep planting that pitch there, you'll be in good shape. Hit high, but foul as that'll get in amongst the fans. O2 is a fastball that misses inside one and two now. And that's a good two strike pitch there is now it might be just to set up something away. And a swing and a ball hit foul heading for the seats. So another foul ball here and it remains one and two. Swing, and I believe this one is going to find the seats as well. It does, so quite a battle here as it remains one and two. Inside with the sinker, and that'll keep him honest at the plate. Oh, and these two guys are locked in a battle now. Now a ball lying toward the gap in left center, and he will get there as he puts this one away on the run for the first out of the inning. Leadoff man gone, and that's a good sign on the mound. You see his numbers to this point. Five and a third innings pitch, three runs allowed, but it looks like he's starting to settle in a bit. Nice fastball that time from Wong as he jumps in front 0-1. Pitch number 77 coming up here for Wong. And this guy's home run earlier in the game has been their only extra base hit so far. Foul ball. And this is hit sharply on the ground toward the hole. And a flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. A little baseball 101 right here. Good job by the pitcher of hightailing it over to cover the bag. And a good feed from the first baseman gets him an out. Russell Martin will step in. One for two in the ballgame. And a called strike on the corner. He didn't like that call. I don't blame him. And as a catcher at the plate, he's thinking, you better call that both ways. And that misses downstairs for a ball one and one. Trying to work him down the zone. That's just where you need to keep that fastball. And here's a slider for a called strike, and he's behind one and two now. Man, he's setting it on a tee for you. You got some lumber, use it. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. And the further down you start that thing, the least effective it's going to be. Hit hard on the ground is short. Up with it is Jeter. 
throw on to Giambi takes care of him, and the inning is over. So they go down without a whimper here. Two, three, and four do up in the home half of the sixth. The Dodgers lead it three to two. Derek Jeter will be the batter as we get things going in the bottom of the sixth. Now a fastball popped high in the air over toward the right side of the infield. And he'll put this one away for the first out of the inning. So one gone in the inning, and that'll bring in Bobby Abreu, the right fielder. Swing and a miss that time. Strike one. And these guys all just come right out of the on-deck circle hacking. Swing and, ooh, he saws him off with that one. Foul. Hit hard back up the middle. In there, a base hit. They say left-handed hitters are usually good low ball hitters, and he proves them right on this pitch as he lines it back up the middle for the number. So a runner at first now with one away, and here comes A-Rod. Now here's the first pitch. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Throw just in time as they get him by an eyelash. Yeah, that was good wherewithal to know he can get back in time. Hideki Matsui will stride in, grounded out his last time through. And this pitch just about saws him off as he can't get extended at all at strike one. He'll take himself a quick grave, Matt, if he goes after balls out of the zone like that. Fouled straight back. Come set, now the pitch. And he gets him to go after 102 as this is popped in the air toward the left side of the infield. Garcia Parra has got it, and the side is retired. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. No more Garcia Parra will dig in, one for two thus far. And a ball, 1-0. Nomar is a notorious first ball hitter, but he wisely laid off that one there. And, oh, looked good on the monitor, but it's 2-0. and oh. That home plate umpire is hearing it in both ears now. Lays off a fastball, but it's over for a strike. 2-1. and one. Hard hit to third. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Andre Ethier will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at-bat. It's ball one. And just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. That ball's foul. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. And this is on the ground toward the hole. Look at the stop. Ah, but the throw is too late as he gave it all he had, but that'll be scored as an infield single. And they're finally able to reach him for another base runner here as he has set down nine in a row until that last base hit. So a runner at first now with one away and digging in the young right fielder, Matt Kemp. And now a ball hit fairly well here out to the deep part of left field. And this is pulled in on the run. Good concentration, and there are two gone. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and it's back to the top of the lineup now for Rafael for call. Ball hit high and foul down the left field line. It's strike one. That ball's foul. Sinker, and this one's over as well. Nothing in two now. Very tight ball game. Three to two our score in inning number seven. And this is grounded foul down the line, so he'll tee it up again. And he has to fight this one off to stay alive as this is fisted foul off to the left side. Now a fastball, and he might have got 
gotten under it just a bit as this is out toward deep right field. Abreu will have room, though, as he makes the catch and the side is retired. Jason Giambi will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. Swinging a ball hit in the air to right field and deep back is the right fielder, but he will look up and watch this one sail out of here. So a solo home run here for Jason Giambi. And with it, the Yankees have tied this one at three. Well, one swing at a bat, and we're right back where we started. This pitch just looked like it was hanging on a string, and all of a sudden, we've got ourselves a tie ball game. Jorge Posada will be the batter. One for two thus far. Now a swing and a ground ball. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Pitchers work on this all through spring training. No problems that time. Robinson Cano will stand in again as we flash it back to the middle innings here. This was a big blow, a two-run home run that really got his guys going. and he popped him up over in foul territory back behind third. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground is short. Up with it is for call. Throw to first and Cano's a ground out victim. Two gone. So much for being in trouble. He gets the first two outs on only four pitches so he might stick around another inning after all. First pitch. Hit on the ground towards first. A flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. But the tying run comes across to score here as this one looks like it'll go to the wire. Juan Pierre will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. Fastball swung on and missed 0 1. Action in the bullpen now as a right hander begins to throw out there. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. And there's your go ahead base runner right away as this is down for extra bases. Andrew Jones will get another crack, one for three thus far. Lays off the slider. Don't know quite where that missed, but it's 1-0. and oh. And clearly trying to keep the ball low here. That's ball two. And into the eighth inning of work, you can see his location is not what it was earlier. That ball's fast. Hard hit towards center. And that's in there. Base hit. And he is in there at third is the possible go-ahead score. Well, you see it right there. Pitch is starting to stack up like firewood. Got to figure he's about out of gas here. Jeff Kent will get another crack, one for three thus far. And they'll start him with a fastball that's low for ball one. In a game like this, every play is big, every pitch is big. Fastball again, but this one's by him for strike one. And this pitch is hit rather sharply toward the third base coaching box. It's a foul ball. Runners at the corners here. Nobody out. And this is going to be fouled into the diamond level seats. Here he comes again. One, two. Hit hard to the right side, but foul. So we'll see if he can straighten that out. There you go. in and pitch now. Now 
a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. And he's working hard from the neck up right now. And he'll fight just to stay alive here as this is fouled away. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. And the slider hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. Cabrera is there, and that should be deep enough to score the run. And that's going to be a sack fly in an RBI as he scores from third. James Loney will step in, a ground out victim as last time. Now he gets the ground ball to first. This might be two, but they'll only get one as he's in there at second. So a runner at second, two down now. And that'll bring in the all-star catcher, Russell Martin. On the ground for A-Rod. Look at A-Rod! And the throw's gonna get him at first. And put an exclamation point on that one as the inning is over. So a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. LA's on top, four to three. New pitcher set to take over here as the calls out to veteran lefty Joe Bimel. Johnny Damon swings and misses there, so he's down 0-1. Swing and a ball line softly to the left side. Throw will not be in time, so good hustle there is now the possible tying run as aboard to lead things off here. Well, you can't ask for much more out of your leadoff guy here. They needed to get something started, and now the possible tying run's on base. Derek Jeter stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. And at a 4-3 game late, every at-bat takes on added significance. And strike two now as Jeter swings and misses on that one. Big gap on the right side if Jeter can steer one that way. Now a move no, over to first, and there. he just does get his hand back in time. O2 pitch to Jeter. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. He just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. And boy, what a battle brewing here as he fouls yet another pitch into the seats. Still stuck on 0-2. This is carrying well out of here. So a two-run shot for Derek Jeter as they will take the lead here. It's now a 5-4 ball game. Uh, quite the turn of events right here. He leaves that pitch out over the plate where he could do something with it. And now all of a sudden, this lead changes hands on one swing here in the eighth. Bobby Abreu will get another crack. One for three thus far. Goes the other way as this is down the line at third. Oh, uh, look at Nomar. Go get it. Throw. Not in time. But boy, was that a remarkable effort just to get to that thing. Oh, and we'll slow this down. A great effort right there just to get a glove on the ball. But he was left with no chance of throwing him out. So that'll go as an infield knock. And a foul ball straight back. Bray holding, here's the pitch. And A-Rod swings and misses at that one. He's in a quick 0-2 hole now. And on 0-2, I'd be surprised to see another fastball in the strike zone here. And 
This is swung on and bounced up the center of the diamond. And that is through into center field, a base hit. Throw into third, but too late, and he's safe at third. Well, that's four straight hits he's threaded down. That's a good job by the catcher to go out there and try and count it down. Hideki Matsui will try again. 0 for 3 with a strikeout thus far. Oh, he just blows the fastball by him for strike one. And this is one of the few guys in the lineup that has not joined the hit parade so far. Hit hard towards second. And a base hit, and that'll get the run in from third. Well, this pitch is out of the zone that time, but you see, he just throws his bat at this thing, and it's enough to get him a base hit. So they'll turn to the bullpen here, as coming on is the Taiwanese left-hander Hong Chi Kuo. And Giambi will stand in to try it again already with one home run of the ball game and on cue there it was back in the seventh inning a solo shot that provided quite a spark for these guys now a spin and a throw back to second and a dive but he's back Got him out in front that time. Strike one. And he is really under the gun now. Swing and a miss, and he's in control. 0-2. Three runs already home here. This guy's come right out of the bullpen throwing strikes. That's a key. Foul back. out of the zone here and he obliges not the greatest of swings there for the first out and you can see this thing will start out in the zone but then wind up well out of it that's just a poor job of recognition there Jorge Posada will stride in rounded out his last time through and a half-hearted swing there as he tried to go the other way and it's strike one from the belt the pitch Here's a ball swung on and lofted in the air out toward right center. And a nice play as he reaches up to grab it on the run for the second out. Robinson Cano will be the batter. Two for three with a home run thus far. Now a swing and Cano rolls this one to second. And the throw to first is in time, but the damage has been done as the side is retired. No more Garcia Parra. The stand-in needed to get things started here in the top of the ninth. And on to try and close things out here in the ninth. Who else? Mariano Rivera. hit down the right field line but it's going to get out of play for strike one now a swing and a ground ball back up the middle a few steps to his left he's got it throw on to first for the out and that is how the ninth inning gets underway Andre Ethier will get another crack one for three thus far and he throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. Oh Just rearing back and throwing the heater by him right there. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. Hit hard down the left field line. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. And the fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Run out away from picking up the save, and you can see on the graphic, he's right near the top and saves among active pitchers. Matt Kemp 
It's at the plate now as he looks at strike one. Didn't want any part of that cutter. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Sight of a smart hitter right there. A swing and a miss on a good pitch, and the Dodgers are down to their final strike now. And a good cutter there from Rivera as this is on the ground for a at third. Throw on to first, and the ball game is over. And Rivera closes things out with a good cutter there as he works a scoreless ninth to pick up the save. So the Yankees come away with a victory here, and David's time now to check in with the new era cap heads up play of the game. Matt, here's the big blow of the ball game, and it came back in the eighth inning. Take a look, as you can see, he gets about every bit of this one, and it turns out to be the difference. Another fine performance from the fella you see on your screen, Robinson Cano. He's our upper deck player of the game. Yeah, man, you can see a couple of hits, including an important home run, and he really supplied the difference in this game as far as I'm concerned. So that'll just about wrap things up here in this one. For Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler, this is Matt Vaskersian saying thanks for joining us here this afternoon. Once again, the final score, the Yankees come out on top 6-4. to four. This has been a presentation of MLB 08 The Show. For more, log on to 